It is a small tiny house because we only we use a 16 foot trailer. And then one of the features that a lot of people like about this house is that we actually use the um, triangle at the front and we've actually worked on it and put some storage on it. So if you go here, um, it's the seating area. It's like your living room, okay? You can remove the cushions, which are kept in place with Velcro, okay? You can move them uh, and then you can lift this and then you've got storage. This space is also there in case somebody would like to install solar panel on this uh, house. And then the same thing for this over here. This uh, also opens. The uh, dining area, um, if, if you're only two people, you can actually have one person eating here, one person eating there. Let's say you have guests over. This table isn't fixed, it's movable. You can actually take your table, move it over here. So you can be four or five people around this table. Most of our models have a galley kitchen in them. We have lots of countertops. All the lights here are LED. Gas stove, gas heater, and then we have the hot water heater that's uh, underneath here. It's for the sink and the shower. So all the plumbing is run through uh, the cabinets. We didn't go in the walls because you don't want them to freeze. This is our electrical panel, which is also a spice rack. You open it, so you have two functions here. Basically, we did a mirror. And people tell us, oh, you've installed it on the wrong side. And we're like, no, 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 because I don't have a mirror in the bathroom. So someone who gets out of the shower actually has the mirror to look at. And the other thing is, you know, if you're getting dressed and you want to look at yourself, if you do that, then you, you can move it. We don't have a fresh water tank in this one, uh, but if we had to install one, it would be installed in this, under this sink. Uh, once again, this is our prototype. You know, this is a learning curve. Some of the stuff, one of the things that we're, we're definitely gonna improve is our shower space, you know, because it's trial and errors and because we didn't maybe put enough emphasis at the beginning for the plumbing. So this is our shower space. Basically what it is, it's a, the, the reason why it's high is because we have a, a gray water tank that we located underneath. We wanted to keep it above the insulation because this is a tiny house that you can live in in, in the winter. So basically what you're gonna have here is, this is our shower space. There's gonna be a step, we're gonna add a step and we're probably gonna cut open this, the mezzanine, raise the roof up and actually use that space for a night table upstairs. Awesome. So that it serve as a shower and then serve as the night table. This unit is installed with a separate, uh, a separate toilet. Uh, we need to finalize the connections, but uh, these are great. Before we go upstairs, this is uh, one of the features that people really like about this house. We've taken Japanese stairs. You've got handles in it. You need to get used to get into these. Uh, a lot of people come here and then if, if they're uh, left-handed, if they're, they, they'll try to go up with their left feet. Yeah, <laughs> so it's kind of it's hard, so you got to go with your right feet and then you just go up. We have a sliding window upstairs. Uh, the reason why we've used side, sliding windows is because um, eventually people will have to change their mattress and once you open it uh, you can actually uh, slide a um, queen mattress through the windows. We actually built those cases, those wood crates, you can remove them, okay? They're built on a, uh, with a uh, 45 uh, degree uh, wood pleat. This one can be removed as well. We like to create uh, structures in wood and a tiny house for me is like you know it's I couldn't ask for more wood and like everything is built in wood the exterior is built in wood uh, we've tried to use locally harvested products so the tiny house allow us to be creative we're building one right now that's actually gypsy style uh, tiny house which originally we were like oh it's not really you know it's not our style and then when we started looking at how we were going to do it, it was like oh my god this is too much fun let's do it so that this is where we get creative and interesting that that's what I like about working in a tiny space. You gotta think outside the box even though you're in a small box. Yeah.